Elsevier Global Medical News. I'm Heidi Spleet, reporting live from the joint annual meeting of the Interscience Conference on Antimicrobial Agents and Chemotherapy and the Infectious Diseases Society of America. Vaccination is always a hot topic at this meeting, but this year, one of the standout presentations by Dr. Jane Seward of the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention in Atlanta focused on some concerns about whether the mumps vaccine effectiveness may be waning. So Dr. Seward is joining me today to talk a little bit about um, what, what made this outbreak in the U.S. in 2006 unique. Thank you, Heidi. Um, the 2006 outbreak occurred uh, very suddenly. Uh, we had achieved very, very good mumps control in the United States with the use of our one and two dose vaccine program. Um, and we were having less than 300 cases of mumps reported every year in the years immediately preceding the outbreak. And then suddenly in 2006, we saw over 6,000 cases reported. The peak age group infected were uh, college students, um, ages 18 to 24, and uh, more than half of them had received two doses of mumps vaccine, uh, which raised some concerns. I think, though, what people need to understand is that uh, before the vaccine was licensed um, and used in the United States, millions of cases of mumps occurred every year. So uh, this outbreak, although concerning at the time, was a little blip in increase uh, in the overall context of the entire program. Could you talk a bit about some of the factors associated with the outbreak in the United States in 2006? In your presentation, you mentioned that although this was a highly vaccinated population, the college student lifestyle may have played a role. Well, there are a number of factors, I think. I think we recognize that two doses of mumps vaccine is uh, perhaps 85 to 90 percent effective. <clears throat> so we're not surprised to see uh, some mumps cases in people that have received two doses. We need to remember that most of the cases are being prevented and we're not seeing but uh, getting back to your question, um, a lot of the cases were seen in college students, and we think very high transmission rates were occurring in that age group. There's probably a lot of social mixing um, and, and sharing of cups and glasses and uh, exchange of saliva, things that uh, help with mumps transmission. And so we think that probably was, was a factor as well. Okay, and then also what would be the take home message for doctors who may be talking to parents and other people in the community who might have heard something about a lack of effectiveness of the vaccine and may be concerned about should they still be vaccinating their children? I think the take-home message is that mumps vaccine is highly effective, although not 100% effective. The best way to prevent mumps is to vaccinate with uh, two doses, so all children should receive two doses of mumps vaccine or MMR vaccine, it's the most common way that mumps vaccine is given. Uh, and two doses should be given to everyone in schools and also in universities and to certain adult groups including healthcare workers and international travelers. That's the best way to prevent mumps and, and almost all people who get two doses will be fully protected against mumps. Thank you. And uh, the final question, you had mentioned that there are some studies underway to investigate whether a third dose would be effective. Could you just elaborate a little bit on where that's going and what are the next steps for research? Uh, there's some important next steps and we have, um, along with uh, the Marshfield Clinic in Wisconsin, initiated a study uh, of giving a third dose of MMR vaccine to uh, young adults who have received two doses in the past and to understand how the uh, immune response reacts to that third dose, how long that increase, assuming it does increase, will last, um, and to really understand the potential benefit of a third dose. Uh, we're not at the point in the country of thinking that we need a routine third dose recommended because actually after the 2006 outbreak, mumps really returned to very low levels again and we haven't seen outbreaks again like the one we saw in 2006. It is important for us to be watching though and understanding the duration of immunity from mumps vaccines. Thank you very much, Dr. Seward. This is Heidi Spleet for Elsevier Global Medical News.